Welcome to a new video. It is Chantel here and I'm back today with the biggest H&M haul that I have ever done. If you don't get the bits quick with H&M, sometimes they go when they don't come back. And yes, I'm back guys with new hair. Like, what do you think? Do we like curls or do we like straight? I am just loving the balayage on this as well. There. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will update you on why I've been away a little bit in the video, but it's great to be back and I hope you're all doing well. I've definitely missed chatting to you all in the comments. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, the first thing I picked up was this brown Kate inspired body con top. It's got fluted sleeves, so it's really good if you're an hourglass, it's gonna accentuate your figure or if you're a pear shape, it's gonna bring the eye upwards and open the neck. It's got a sweetheart neckline and it just goes down into a little um, U shape, so it's really flattering, but also it really draws the iron onto your shape. I love the sleeves, particularly if you're looking for something to elevate and lengthen your body. I think this is a great piece. Brown is definitely the colour of the season. I don't think it's going anywhere in terms of fashion or in terms of home interiors. I think it goes with so many things. I would wear this for maybe a jean look, but a day to, like if I was going out for a nice brunch, or a day to evening look. So I've just paired it in the cutaways with some cropped leather trousers. The leather trousers are a few years, I think they're faux leather. They're a few years old from mango and some um, little nude pointy heels. I love those for a simple date night look. Um, this brown top is just a simple rib knit. So it's super warm for the season, but it's not overdone. It's not like a high neck. You can put a nice necklace with it and it's just something really simple and elegant to wear. I have seen these on Nessa Porte guys and I think they retail in the hundreds if you're looking for a K one. I would definitely say wear a smooth bra, something really simple, maybe something plunge line because of the shape coming down like this, um, but it should be really flattering, particularly if you're full busted as well. What I'll do, I will link to any items below in the description box, and if you can still shop them, you can have a look at the full details there. Then I picked up this black oversized faux leather blazer. Guys, I've been looking at a really nice faux blazer for such a while, but an oversized one, I wear my oversized men's blazer all the time. That's like my go-to day look, um, simply because it's so easy to kind of edge it out. I love this one when I saw it, but it is quite big. So I picked this up in a size medium. I think it was just under 40 pounds. And I really like this with just a pair of simple military boots, some casual um, like cigarette trousers. I've actually paired the Primark cigarette trousers that I bought earlier on this year, I think. They're really, really nice. And then just a bodycon top. And then just to follow out with the three color rule, I've just paired this with a simple um, burgundy bag. I just think this is a really cool piece to edge out your wardrobe. I know not everyone is up for oversizing. I do like oversizing in some things, but I tend to just go slimmer on the leg if I wear something oversized. This if you're athletic, so you're looking to create shape, this will add some shape, but you could also, even if you wanted to pull it in with a belt, you could. Such a great layering piece. You can wear it with a jumper, you can wear it with a hoodie. Like I love wearing things like this with like hoodies and leggings and maybe some trainers. If you're running errands, it just edges out your look and just gives some more contrast with the faux leather detail. Um, the price point is really good. And I think if you don't have a leather blazer, either a fitted one or an oversized one in your wardrobe, I would say this is the season to be looking to update your wardrobe with that. I think most of people, if they've got leather in their wardrobe, may have a biker jacket. It's a bit of a capsule wardrobe basic, um, but I would say this is not necessarily a trend piece. I just think it's an optional blazer now that we've got coming through in leather quite consistently every season. Um, next up, I picked up this cropped red knit like guys have you ever seen me in anything like this before like i don't think so the reason i picked this up is because i wanted a real bold statement look to share with you guys particularly some of you who are petite who do message me and i do think of you when i'm picking up my hauls to say right what would be a great outfit for the season red is a primary color it's never gonna date it's never not gonna be on trend i've seen kate middleton today in an al k bennett uh, or the princess of wales should we say now in an al k bennett tailored coat 
classic traditional will never date she looks super stylish chic and elegant and that is like an orangey tomato red it's a lovely v-neck it's got billowing sleeves but they come in really nicely so this is going to be really flattering if you are a pear shape because it's going to draw your eye upwards and put some attention in your arms and that will even out your physique i liked the length of this obviously it would be great to wear with a higher waist trouser but i did pick this up as a full outfit let me show you the bottoms so i saw these trousers, they're just a classic flared bottom to wear with this. And I just thought they would look amazing. Now guys, your girl's been eating. <laughs> She's pulling a few pounds. So these actually don't fit. When I've tried on, these are too small for me. So I wouldn't even try them on for the cutaways for you. They'll just look ridiculous. But this is an outfit with like a little diamond to heel boot that I think I showed in my last haul last week on key accessories and just a black bag. I thought these would look amazing together. If you are petite, this is a great outfit when I say wear one colour because it will elongate your body. You can have these tailored to fit. They do come up quite short on me anyway. So even if they did fit my body, they would be too short. So I don't think these are really generous in the leg either. But this is such a great like cute outfit with a bag jacket with a blazer with a big coat you can wear these interchangeably you could wear this really casual with like some boyfriend jeans even um some really sharp like tailored trousers or a wide leg cream trouser i think these will go with leather leggings similarly you could separate these and wear it for more of a smarter look like a really nice open white shirt a black aviator jacket or like a chunky black knit and maybe some nude heels so you've got the three color rule kind of inflow there then i picked up this white victoriana shirt if you know me or you follow me over on instagram it's um at chantalier underscore c and just for you guys who leave me comments it's chantal is just my youtube name um it, my name is chantal this is a classic victoriana blouse and i always rave about these like on my stories when i share stuff they're just such a great basic next step on from a white shirt if you're thinking like white linen shirt spring summer victoriana blouse is autumn winter because they're such great layering pieces they show up the neck really nicely if you can just see the detail there with like an oversized knit like this look great with a gray knit some leather trousers but they pair really nice with the jackets look at the sleeves it's just that extra detail to finish your outfit see when we talk about contrast and detail this shirt just gives that something extra but it's nice and high neck so you can wear it for example with a thermal underneath to keep you warmer if you wanted to it's not super snug on the waist but it cuts in really nicely it does have a nice bit of shape to it and i actually thought this blouse would be great if you're an apple and um, simply because it's not a really tight fitted shirt but it gives some shape there i picked up this I would say this like muted oyster dress. It's got a really, really open neck. I wouldn't normally wear a neck this open, but what I liked about it is where you can see the stitching, how it draws in the waist there and there. That's gonna actually create shape and create some contrast in the in terms of the detail of the outfit. It's a really long dress, but it's it's not a really long dress actually, it's just over the knee. And I really like the colour. I would say it's in between like mushroom and oyster. Um, it's really classic. I think it was just under £30. But after my video last week, I haven't worn my shirt wipes and boots in such a long time. I wanted a nice dress. I've had so many like maternity knitted dresses the past few years. They don't fit me anymore. Um, I wanted a nice dress to wear with that. And I was like, right, this is the dress. Obviously, it is very low neck. So if you are full of busted, it's going to be great for you. Um, you know, if not, you can wear a chunky um, scarf and that will look really nice as well, like a really nice grey or a camel scarf will look fantastic with this. This will look great with a biker jacket, with a leather jacket, it'll look great with a coat. I just think it's one of those staple pieces. You could even wear this with like a sandal if you're going on like a cute little date night. I just think it's super cool rib dress, really elegant, super chic, and it's something that is not gonna leave your wardrobe anytime soon. Next up is the curveball, guys. <laughs> this is a fringed cardigan, like, wow, like, look at it. It's, I wouldn't say it's super cropped, it's like just above your waist. So if you wear this with a high waist jean, you'll be absolutely fine. If you're unsure, you could layer it like I've done in the cutaways before. I think this is a really cute, timeless piece. Definitely what we would call from a styling perspective, these are your seasonal updates or your hero pieces. So most of us have got 
a nice blazer. Most of us have got a nice pair of going out jeans or a leather trouser that we wear when we go out. So these are the key seasonal pieces that you can use to upgrade your wardrobe every season and you've not got to think, I need a whole new wardrobe. So I love the fringing, like fringing is a major trend for this season. Fringing in bags, fringing in skirts, fringing in jackets, you will see it everywhere. I really like the openness of the neck because I think you can wear it in multiple ways. You can wear it just with a nice um, long necklace or you can wear it with a shirt, something super simple underneath, like you can dress it down. Like if you wanted to wear this super casual, you could wear this with joggers and a nice smart pair of trainers and it would look super cool. It's exaggerated in terms of the detail. Like if you're a pear shape, this is your top because it's putting all the attention upwards and drawing the eyes away from below. I live for pieces like this that are chunky, that are cozy, that kind of draw the detail and make you feel super, super like locks and elegant. I think trench is a favorite of mine. However, it's quite lightweight. I saw this one. It was a higher price point than what I paid for mine. I think this is about $59.99, which I think is still fantastic, but it's really, really quite heavy and feels like really expensive. What I love about it, it's got the clip clasp. So if you look at the like classic trench that you'll see flooding over Instagram this time of year, everyone's got to wear a trench from Burberry, but you'll normally see the clasp detail shows a real elevated and expensive trench normally. The details you look out for to say, how does the outfit look so expensive? It's things like this. It's a really nice warm camel tone. Windproof, it's really heavy. It has got the tie back detail there. A really nice open back, so it's quite like maneuverable when you're wearing it. If I put this up in a medium, it's a perfect fit for me. I've styled this up in the cutaways with a leather skirt and just a camel, like a really warm camel knitted jumper because I think that's a really nice casual daytime look. You can tell my vibe at the moment, like casual daytime with a crossbody bag. And I just think like this will really elevate your style. I just think a trench is just an essential, but this tone as well, it's so warm. Like I don't know if it's coming up as well on camera, but it will suit so many skin tones. And actually the price point is so good. I think 60 pounds for a good quality trench is amazing. Then finally, I picked up this really nice hooded it's like a athleisure jacket. I've worn these for a couple of years, but not in this tone. It's a really nice nude. Um, it goes really well with my Adenola set. You know, I picked this up a couple of months ago. I live in them. These are my like run around clothes with blazers with the boys in the week. But if I don't want to wear something smarter, for example, in the house, and I've only got the smaller top, I just thought this would be really nice. I think the price point was really good. It was probably about 15, 18 pounds, something like that. But the color is gorgeous. It's got a lovely rib detail in the side there and really nice edges on the sleeves as well. And they've got pockets as well, which I think is great and a nice hood. So if you're trying to run out and you don't want to get wet, you can just shut the hood up. I always like <laughs> just throw it over. Um, and yeah, guys, I just thought it was a really nice piece to finish off another outfit where I've not been able to find a great basic. Guys, that is everything for this haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. I did order a huge haul and some of the pieces I'll be honest with you they were quite big and they just weren't as flattering so I want to share with you obviously all the pieces that I think are amazing and will be valuable to your wardrobe as well I just want to touch on why I've been away the past few weeks and just to say hello to the people that you know I've missed and I don't think you can see that I've not been present as well there have been a few things going on at home and I don't want to pretend or not be transparent that that hasn't impacted me 100% has some positive things and some really difficult things and you know you can't just suddenly get over things that happen in your life and some of those things take a long time to process so I just wanted to pop up two quotes um just in, in case they would help any of you um they are from the Instagram account Alex if you follow her she shares really nice inspirational and um, thoughtful self-care pieces. So if any of you need to hear that, I would definitely suggest you give her a follow. It's just reminiscent of what's been going on. Some, sometimes we go through changes. Life can be bumpy. There's ups and downs in the road. And I don't want to give the impression by having a platform being on YouTube that, you know, that's not the case and everything's rosy and everything's perfect. And I certainly can't come online and film a video if there is a lot of other things going on. So please be assured I have been doing my best to be present and film and share my regular videos. I've not wanted to miss any, but there has been times when I've just needed to take some time for myself and my mental health. So, you know, I do see you guys in the comments every week, Julia and Nita, all of you like 
I, you know, I miss you guys and we built up such a great community and I am back. I am coming back and I love doing these things, but I have to take a little bit of time away. You know, not even wanted to see myself on camera sometimes because I don't feel like my normal, I haven't felt like my normal self. You know, it takes a little bit to come back. So I hope you're rest assured that look, this little break has been unintentional. You will get a resume of normal content. And yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're going through anything the same, like I just want to be, you know, transparent, that keep it real with you guys and just be myself, basically. I will catch you next week with another video. I already know what that's going to be. It's going to be a Zara haul. And there are so many amazing pieces. I cannot wait um, to get into that with you. And there's lots more exciting stuff coming. And um, I can't wait to share that with you. Um, do let me know your thoughts on the hair as well. If you want more details about this hair, like, I can let you know. I've not even had my own hair colored yet. This is just like new extensions myself. But I think they are amazing i'm rambling i'm gonna go hit the subscribe button if you are new here i know a lot of you watch every week and haven't subscribed so i'd love it if you do that and i will catch you in the next one take care bye